going to fly a Quest Antari. I lost one of these while I was filming one of my where to launch rockets videos here in the Phoenix area. Lost it in a tree. These are real cheap, easy to find, but I painted it this time. The last one I didn't. I painted it to look just like it does on the base card. And it's fun. Even if you only pay a few bucks for a rocket, it's fun to make sure that these things look nice. I think that's most of the fun. Okay, half the fun. The other half is launching them, of course, but I do like to spend some time making these things look good. So this will be the maiden flight of this going up on an A83. Five, four, three, two, one. And coming down on the streamer. Just as advertised. Five, four, three, two, one. Interesting that it's coming in. It's just the grass is nice and deep here. And again, as usual, a little bit of exhaust from the ejection charge. But it's clear coated, it'll wipe right off. Fun little rocket to fly. Going to be launching a Wayfair rocket. This is a rocket made by Apogee Components. I haven't flown it yet. This is its maiden voyage. Um, I love this thing before even flying it. It's like a big fat alpha and has a lot of room for my big fat fingers. Could even put an altimeter in there. I'm gonna just fly this on an A83 for its maiden voyage this morning. Wayfarer in five, four, three, two, one. A3, not enough motor for that thing. <laughs> so, so, recovery. This kit gives you a ton of, of uh, shock cord Kevlar, and then I always put a leader on my chutes. Also, info from an Apogee article, but hey, for its maiden flight. Wayfarer nose cone nose dived in. Got an alt altimeter on this. It melted the chute. Got to use those thin mill chutes, but 190 feet on a B44 motor. Just go around. Yikes! That's gonna need a replacement. Otherwise, this thing flies great. Yeah, and I got smoke in the grass. It's always crazy. Venture going up. Five, four, three, two, one. Takes a bit for the chute to open. Of 
closest to the pin today. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect flight, zero damage. That's what I like. Just like the construction sleigh, you can fly them over and over again. If you were accused of being a rocketeer, would there be enough evidence around you to convict you? Next is a bad boy rocketry clone of a yellow jacket, an Estes yellow jacket. I have flown these before. This is my second one. My first one drifted away into a neighborhood, donated it to some neighbor kids, I'm sure. That was on a B motor. This is going up on an A83 today. This is the maiden flight of this rocket. Uh, but these things are awesome. There's no visible difference at all between Bad Boy Rocketry clones and the original. Bad Boy Rocketry Yellow Jacket clone going up on an A83 in five, four, three, two, one. Event and shoot out like a charm. Going straight overhead, making me dizzy. of the yellow jacket perfect flight I've been going real cautious today with the wind that's here and all these maiden flights so this one I'll keep flying this is a fun one to fly all the time I'll put this up on a stronger motor probably at my club launches next up is another bad boy rocketry kit this of an x-15 obviously this is a clone of a quest x15 kit beautiful kit lots of decals it took the greater part of a full evening to put them all on looking at books of x15s and where the decals were supposed to go and there's you know lots of variation from the actual models so the actual flying machines so you use a little bit of artistic liberty and where you want to put these things but it's just a spectacular looking rocket and i'm going to put this up on a b64 this is the maiden flight of this one as well and looking forward to uh, seeing how this performs it's heavy so i don't think it's going to go too high i have my camera bag next to the x15 to shade the sun from the gopro camera at the base so this is going up in a b64 and five four three two one when they tilt, tilt over like that, but we're getting it back. <laughs> Jeez Louise. I've definitely lost them to uh, some of those houses over there. Four, five, four, three, two, one.
Okay, well, it looks like perfect landing that far away from making new friends at one of those actually probably making old friends. I think I've knocked on the doors of both of those places before to recover my rockets. <laughs> but this is uh, usual, the usual mess at the top here from the engine exhaust, but otherwise in perfect shape. Sweet.